What's going on, guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. BYU men's volleyball is headed to the big stage after taking care of business last night. BYU baseball also taking care of business while staying classy in San Diego. Plus, we've got a new jersey number and a new BYU record. Let's go. Number two, BYU men's volleyball took down number four, Lewis, three sets to one in the NCAA semifinals. Guys, not to get too into numbers, but BYU came to play. Gabby Garcia Fernandez had 17 kills, two aces, two blocks, and seven dicks. While Will Stanley had 43 assists, eight dicks, and five blocks. That all adds up to, actually, I don't really know how we would make that all work. You know what that adds up to? That adds up to a lot of confidence for our Cougs. Now there was limited attendance allowed at the match. One section of BYU fans looked particularly familiar, but with the energy our guys had, you would have thought that the arena was full, especially when the BYU banner was added to the final match of the bracket. Hey, 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 hey. I am so hyped for this dub, but it's time to put the celebrations aside because we got to get ready for the NCAA championship versus Hawaii. As we know, Hawaii is a good team. They're number one in the nation. They were our only loss of the season last year. So trust me, there's some pretty recent history between these teams. But don't worry, I'll make sure you get all the info you need before tomorrow's match. You know I gotta make sure you're ready for the championship. Now let's get back to some of the volleyball players because the guys have been putting up impressive numbers all season. But one athlete in particular has put up an impressive GPA. That's right, Mickey Yauhiainen proves that he can get it done on the court and in the classroom after earning himself the Elite 90 Award. This award recognizes the student athlete with the highest cumulative GPA participating in the finals of each of the 90 NCAA championships. Oh, and this is the second time he's won this award. That's what happens when you're a master of science, computer science major that has kept a 4.0 GPA in his undergrad and graduate experience. The only thing that might be more impressive is the 6-4 to four extra inning comeback from our Batcats on the road in San Diego. Not only did this extend our Cougs to a six game win streak, but it also broke San Diego's eight game win streak. Now listen, this is a big deal because the Toreros are 21-0 when they lead coming out of the eighth inning. And yet we still came back to take the dub. Now that is epic. Some other epic standouts included Andrew Pintar, who had two homers, a triple, and four RBI. And Cole Gamble, who extended his hitting streak to 11 games, going three for five. The Batcats will play game two of the three-game series tonight. Let's keep it going, boys. Turning to men's basketball, we have some not so good news. Matt Harms will not be returning to BYU for another year. This is a tough pill to swallow, but we gotta give some love to our WCC Defensive Player of the Year. Let's get back to the good news though, and you know what? Let's have some fun with it. Round it up. Let's start with a huge accomplishment coming from track and field. Courtney Wayman has earned herself fifth all time in the NCAA steeplechase. In the process, she absolutely crushed BYU's previous record. I absolutely love this for her. And based on her caption, she was loving it too. Now how about an athlete no longer on campus? We've all gotten used to seeing Zach Wilson wear number one the past couple of years, but now get used to him wearing number two for the Jets. Pull up the tweet. Ah, oh, look, the Jets quarterback in his natural habitat, wearing his number two jersey. Could this be symbolic of him being the number two overall pick? I believe so. Moving on to another QB. Jacob Conover is back at it with the Instagram Reel trends. And nothing hurts anymore, I feel kind of free. This one might be my favorite that he's done purely for the fact that it has Lavelle Edwards Stadium in it. I love that place. 
Let me take you from the football field to the basketball court because Gavin Baxter is flexing on everyone with this dunk. Ah! Well, based on the caption, he's mainly flexing on Mark Durant, but let's be real, we're all jealous. I am just green with jealous rage right now. Although, I can kind of relate. I do this in the office all the time. Yeah! Pinky, you're not cool. I thought it was cool. Thanks for having me on BYUSN right now. That was cool, right? I thought it was cool.